Okay, so good evening Lasallians and this video is about the derivative formulas and if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel the same math club, please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. In calculus, there are many formulas for derivatives. The um, first formula that we are going to discuss is first it is d over dx c equals to zero. So what you mean by this is the, the derivative of a constant will always be equal to zero. So let's say we have the value of y is equal to 3. So I would like to um, uh, point out that since 3 is a constant term, the equation of derivative by y prime is equal to 0. So any constant term, its derivative will always be equal to 0. So if, for example, we have another uh, function which is Even if we have like, for example, we have like 3 to the power of 3 or something, as long as there is no variable and it's all constants, like 3 to the power of 5, its derivative will always be equal to 0. So the next one that will be um, d over dx, where we have um, c times f of x is equal to c times f prime of x. So what we what we mean by this is given that we have the um, constant multiplied to a um, x term, then its derivative would be that constant multiplied to the derivative of the um, term of the x. So for, to understand it, to understand this further, we have this um in the given example. So we have y is equal to um, three times or y is equal to 3 x other. So the derivative of this is, since we have a concept term 3, we put y right here, and we have 3 times the derivative of x. So how do we get the derivative of x? So before we move into this formula, first I'll uh, introduce this formula right here, which is, um, let me just put it right here, d of x. Um, x to the power of n is equal to n times x to the power of n minus 1. So this is the formula. So given that we have this x right here, so the derivative of x would be x to the power of this is x, this is x, x to the power of n. So its derivative would be, as you can see in the formula, first we bring this down. So we have 1 times x. And then we subtract 1. We subtract the exponent by 1, so it becomes 1 minus 1. So we have 1 times x to the power of 0. And anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Because 1 times 1, and the derivative of x to the power of 1 is the power of 1. Sorry. So therefore, we get copy the constant, which is 3, and then we get the derivative of the x, which is 1. And then therefore, the derivative of 3x, which is y prime, is equal to 1. So, let's give um, more examples to um, this type of problem. I'll give another equation, let's say y is equal to, uh, let's say, 3x to the power of y. Now, as I've said, there is a shortcut in getting the derivative. We just multiply this number to this number, and then we subtract this by 1. So therefore, our derivative for this will be 15x to the power of 4. So far, that's these are the for, these are the uh, basics for uh, uh, what are more for us. So, what if we are taking uh, f of x is equal to three um, x squared plus five? 
So how do we get the derivative of this? So getting the derivative of this uh, <coughs> equation, we get the derivative of this and we add it to this derivative. So bali, I separate mo ang ilan you um, separate ang ilan mo sa single derivative. So you get the, the derivative of 5 and you get the derivative of 3x squared and then you add that together. That's how you get the uh, derivatives if you are given two or more terms. So how do we get the derivative of this? So as we said, um, I'm not going to show that. We multiply 2 to 3 and then we get 6x. And then don't forget, subtract x component by 1 and we get 1 or just 6x. And then what's the derivative of 5? So as we uh, mentioned earlier, the derivative of any constant is equal to 0. So this would be just 6x plus 0 or in simplified, it's only 6x. So therefore, the derivative of 3x squared plus 5 is only 6x. So let's have more examples. Let's say f of x is equal to, let's say, 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus... As we discussed, we get the derivative of this. The derivative of this and the derivative of this. So, right here, f of x, f prime of x. When you um, write the, uh, the equation of a derivative, you always don't forget this symbol here, the prime. Because prime would indicate that it's already given a derivative. y is equal to 1 over x. So how do we get, get uh, how do we get the derivative of this equation? So given that uh, x is located at the denominator, we know that in um, mathematics rules, when we say a to the negative one, it is equal to 1 over a. So therefore, if the exponent is negative, we transfer to the denominator. And the same is if the, um, <coughs> if the number is in the denominator, therefore it is an exponent of a negative number. So since this is in the denominator, therefore we have the, um, we can um, translate this to y is equal to x negative 2 times 1. Because we have 1 here, but it's still x squared. Because 1 times x squared. So, so we basically just transfer this to the numerator and made the exponent negative. And because we follow the um, rules of exponents, right? if the exponent has a, <coughs> a positive exponent, but in the denominator, we transfer to the numerator para the positive ang yung exponent. So now, since we have this um, type of uh, so that's the atom equation. We can apply this rule. So therefore, the same rule applies. We transpose this below. We have y prime is equal to negative 2 x. Copy x. We are this down. Because there is an imaginary one here. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then we subtract this by 1. So a lot of people are confused. We subtract by 1. This doesn't become negative 1 because negative 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 3. Because when you have, uh, when two numbers have the same signs, you basically add them. So negative 2 minus 1 doesn't mean negative 1, it means negative 3. If you want to check it with the calculator, to be sure that. But this is the, uh, this is how you get the derivative of negative 3. So therefore, the derivative of 1 of x squared is negative 2x squared. Like negative 2x to the power of negative 3. If I were to give another example, let's say fx is equal to 3x squared plus y 2 over x cubed. Yes. 2 over x cubed. So now, um, we know how to get the derivative of this. Like, 
I mean, for, I mean, first of all, let's um, let's even know that we can prepare us for the meeting. Para mas easier, para ako sa tali work with it. Iimo tayo sa application, eliminate the malfunction. So we don't write the primary because we're still just trying to um, manipulate the situation so that money money is something that easier to work with. So we have three ex three expert cabinets plus. 2 times x to the negative 3. And now, since it is in this form, ang nakawala na sa fractions, we can use the uh, power rule to get its derivatives. f of x, f prime of x, and then our shortcut, multiply this to this, which we get 6, up with the x, and this will times by 1. Okay, we get 1, and this is this. And then we have plus, and then take note, negative 3, Times 2 is negative 6, top with the x, and negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So if you rewrite this, it's actually 6x minus 6x to the negative 4. So this is the um, derivative of this equation. <coughs> so now we um, let's move to uh, another example. So what if, let's combine everything from y is equal to uh, 4x to the standard plus 1 over, let's say, 3 halves x squared plus 5. So how do we get the derivative of this? So, we don't know what the equation, okay? So, y is equal to 4x to the 7 plus take note. We like, we like 3 halves here. 3 halves like this because x is multiplied to the 2 in the denominator. But if we transpose this to the numerator, we have x to the negative 2. Because once we are uh, write in this form, this x and negative 2 is actually being multiplied now to 3. But in this form, this x to the 2 is multiplied to 3. So if you write it in this form, then this uh, 3 halves x and negative 2 is actually the same as 3 x and negative 2. Because as we uh, mentioned, we transferred this x from the denominator to the numerator. So this will and this will look the same.